in today's episode, we are going to speak about software vocabulary. And the first word on the agenda is a programmer. A programmer, it's a person who writes or modifies a computer program or an application. Um, you can also be called a software developer. So it's up to you to decide which name you want to go by. Now, when you are talking about a program, uh, what kind of things you can do with the program? Well, first of all, to start a program, in English, you would say to execute a program. There are more words that you can use. For example, you can say run a program. You can say launch a program. Also, you can say boot a program. So it's up to you to decide which word you want to use. What happens if you have a failure? What happens if your program does not respond? In this case, you can describe it um, saying that a program, there is a program crash or your program crashed. So this is a way to describe a failure of your program. What you have to do in order to reboot the system, for example, you need to terminate the program. To terminate means to cause the task to stop executing. So I have one more word for you that you can use when talking about programs. You can abort a program, which means you want to end the program before its completion. So to abort a program. So let's move on. Uh, when talking about software, of course, everybody knows the word feature. So what is feature? A feature, it is something that a computer program is supposed to do. We all know that there are jokes about uh, feature and bugs. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you don't want to admit that there is a bug in your program, you can call it a feature. A bug is an arrow in a computer. So is your code full of bugs or features? When you're describing a failure, there is a word arrow that you can use. Uh, uh, be careful because you cannot use here the word mistake. So when talking about IT mistakes, uh, we are talking about arrows. To sum up, arrow is an incorrect action of your program. And finally, I would like to talk about users. Yeah, we're all users because we use software. But there is such a term as an end user. So an end user for IT is a person who uses the program that you software developers build or develop. End user, it's us, people who use a product on our computers.